All right, October 14th, and we're going to go over your warm-up. So there's for the date for the folks who aren't here. All right, so start with 1A. What did you get for your answer for 1A? Um, yes, Caleb. 31. I did not get 31. Have anyone with a different answer? <clears throat> I probably made a mistake. Hold on. I did make a mistake. I did make a mistake. All right, Caleb, go ahead and write that out. And then what we'll do is I'll actually take a picture of your work. Um, erase something else that's up there from first block for me. How about B? How about B? Hold on. Let me go get my actual um, answers that I jotted down on my index card. Hayden, what'd you get for B? I agree. Go ahead and go write out the work for that. Copying the original expression and then writing out the work. How about C? Erase something that's already up there. Yep. Um, Isaiah. I did not get negative 20. But I know how you did. I know how you did. Kenya? Positive 5 is what I got as well. Go ahead and go write that up. I know exactly where we had trouble with that. It's right here. Remember what division means, right? Right. How many one-fifths are in 5? It's not going to be five. It's going to be quite a bit more than that. Picture five things split up into fifths, okay? And we'll come back to that. How about um, two, which is totally missing the actual numeral two right there. Sorry about that. Um, which of the following shows the subtraction property of equality? This was something from the four and a half weeks test. It wasn't exactly that question, but that was something we missed on that four and a half weeks test. Andrew? Uh, a does not show the subtraction property of equality. Um, Austin? C does not. C shows the multiplication property of equality. Alexia? Good old process of elimination. What part of that shows me the subtraction property of equality? Subtracting the same number on both sides. That's all those properties of equality with an operation in front of them. That's all they mean, guys. It's merely subtracting the same thing from both sides. If it's subtraction property of equality, adding the same thing. If it's addition property of equality, which is what this one was. Okay, this is a good time for you to write stuff in to help yourself pay attention to what's going on. We are testing at the end of the week with equations, guys, so we got to get there. And then this one is multiplication property of equality down here. All right, the equations were on the tougher side, at least I think that um, A and B were. C wasn't quite as difficult, but that's um, either uh, all three of them require something a little bit extra compared to just solving a regular equation. Who wants to be brave and tell me their answer for 3A? Amaya. I did not get 19 sevenths. Nine. Joe? 5 over 3. I did not get 5 over 3. But I know how you did, and you, you were almost, you're almost there. Kiana? 5 over 63. Yes, except I got negative 5 over 63. Should it be negative? Okay, can you go write that out for me? Awesome. All right, how about B? How about B? And as I said, none of them are whole numbers for the equations. They all came out seriously funky fractions. Um, and I'll give you another tip. They're all negative this time. So apparently I made them all negative. Joe? Negative 15.4 over neg negative 3. And we can't have the decimals in the fraction. I can show you a great quick way to get rid of those decimals. Let's go over it now. Okay, let's go over it now. So hold on, let me zoom in. Okay, let's go over it now. What would be a good thing for me to start off doing that would make me um, have a, a situation that might be a whole lot easier? Oh, it's not negative, it's positive. I, I realized I made a mistake. Anyway, no, before that. I don't like those decimals. They're ugly, make them go away. How? Mathematically, fraction. tell me how. Nope, no fractions. Devin, multiply the whole darn thing by 10. Okay, write it in, guys. Write it in so you can go back and look at it later. So what does 22.5 become? 225. What does 3.4 become? 34. X. And then 7.1 becomes? 71. If you now have a calculator, this goes really fast. Okay, this would go really fast. Without a calculator, we still have to do some, some ugly subtraction, and, and, then, um, and then we'll be basically done. And it isn't negative. I messed that up. It is totally positive, but I'm pretty sure I have the number part of it right. 
So once I, de de um, not delete, subtract that, negative 34x equals 71 minus 225. What's 71 minus 225? What do I really have to do? I have to flip it, and then it's 1, what would you say? 154? So negative 154, and then it would be to do what to both sides, the last step on this one? Divide by? Careful, negative 34. Negative 34. Now let's look at that fraction. I'm going to come up here and do it. 154, negative 154 over negative 34. Whoa, why did that get so big? Go away. Well, what's the first thing I notice? <clears throat> it's going to be a what, Kiana? A positive. And what's the other thing that I can notice about those two numbers, 154 and 34? They're both even. And that means they're divisible by guaranteed they're divisible by 2. We could look for a bigger factor, but... Once you divide 34 by 2, you get 17, so you're not going to find a bigger factor. And then 154 divided by 2 is 77. 77 over 17. Gosh, that was hideous. That's what happens when Miss LeCompte just makes them up off the top of her head, isn't it? Um, well, and here's the thing. It repeats, too, because 17th is not a happy decimal. So leave it a fraction, 77. And plus, look, that's less work. Whoop, I didn't mean to move it. That's less work, 77 over 17. You didn't even have to really do anything besides divide a couple numbers by 2. How about the last one? Hold on, I don't want to change colors. I've been using the same colors all the time. Let's use green. Um, uh, all right, Hayden, go ahead. Negative 13 over 5 is correct. I'm not going to have you write it out only because you've already done one and we're getting to the point where we've taken a bunch of time because we're still going to go back and look at those other problems up there. All right. So when you distribute this, where's the mistake we're going to run into? Who knows where they probably made a mistake because it's a place that keeps popping up. Austin. Um, negative 2 times That's right. Negative 2 times x, that's easy. Negative 2x. But negative 2 times a minus 3 is a positive 6. I had a couple discussions with kids working with them either um, virtually, by email, um, and then a couple working one-on-one. -on -one. I want you to try to see this as a negative 2 times a negative 3, which gives you a positive 6. No more symbols than that. One symbol at a time. So all we want to think about is one symbol at a time. After that, you're adding 2x to each side, so this will be 5x. Subtracting 19 from each side, so that's negative 13. And then remember, as long as you write out your work, you won't have to do a whole bunch of long division. That's good enough. Negative 13 fifths, and I'm happy. All right, last one of these. How long is it going to take you to make $500 in interest? Your grandparents gave you a grand. Um, if your money can earn 4% interest annually, meaning yearly, in a certificate of deposit, how long must you invest your money in order to earn $500 in interest? Um, Caleb? 40 years. No. Ooh, I Kiana? 12 and a half years. All right, so I party. I equals PRT. I party. All right, what number goes in where? What number goes in where? Nikes. Not sure? Ah, so this was in the video that you were supposed to watch for today that you had four nights to watch. A couple kids talked to me about it. But um, this also came from last year, guys, so you should probably remember this from last year. Go ahead, Nikes, go for it. Okay, hold on. Nope, I is I I is interest, but it's not going to be that percent. Um, Austin. Um, no. No, P is principal, not the guy in the office, but the P L E, not the P A L. P A L. Doctor Crum, the principal is your pal. That's how you can remember how to spell it. <laughs> this is um, principal. Quincy. Goes where? No. All right, so we definitely got some review to do with this stuff. Um, Isaiah. Um, 1,000 is the... 1,000 is the principal. It's how much is in the account. Keep going, Isaiah. 4% is the rate. Okay, but we'll come back to that in a second because I can't put 4 in there and I can't put a percent sign in there. i got to put something else in there. Can Keep going. Can I say... Sure. It's a decimal. Okay. 0 .04. 0 .04. 0 0.04. Please try to remember your decimal points in front of your... Um, or your zeros in front of your naked decimal point. Naked decimal point is unhappy. Go ahead. 
We have to find the time, so we'll leave T there. Good. What about I? $500. The $500 in interest that you want to earn. And that's the equation. That's the formula, and we plugged everything into it. Now, granted, the one we went over in the video was quite a bit more complex than that, but that's a nice, simple one. That's a good one for us to, um, to start on. So 1,000 times 0.04 is 40. So 40t, and I'm going to use the metric property and flip it around because I like my variable on the left. Divide. Okay, that's going to cancel. 500 divided by 40 is 12 and a half or 12.5. So it's going to take 12 and a half years. And 4% is a really big percentage to be able to get on something like a savings account. That won't happen. But on a certificate of deposit or a CD which is what they're called at the bank. You leave your money there for a certain amount of time, it earns a certain amount of interest. That's, yes? How do you get rid of the 1,000? How do we get rid of the 1,000? Nope, don't talk, because remember, I'm recording you. How do we get rid of the 1,000, Caitlin? We multiplied the 1,000 and the 0 .04, by, and we did it by moving a decimal place. So 1,000 is moving a decimal place one, two, three times, put in your zero, so that's now the number 40. So all I really did there was multiply 1,000 times 0 0.04. Good question. All right, going back. Both sides by 1,000. Or no, not. No, no, no. I got myself. Okay. That's what you I got mean. it right, though. No, no, no. This is oh, what okay. I got wrong. I, I, I had 500 and I thought I had 1,000. Oh, I got it right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.